If you were to look back to when I graduated, the concept of regenerating uh, tissues, regenerating limbs or organs, um, one would have viewed it almost like science fiction. Um, but now I think it's in the realm of reality. Um, uh, regenerative medicine, in fact, represents a new paradigm for medicine, um, a paradigm where we're aiming to repair, restore and normalize uh, rather than palliate. Uh, much of conventional medical therapy focuses on palliating disease. Regenerative medicine aims to repair, restore and regenerate. It does that by bringing together technologies of stem cells, gene therapy, biomaterial science, medical device technology, biologics, and it brings together these technologies um, in a way that allows the body to um, regenerate, repair and heal itself. So, for example, um, patients with diabetes um, not infrequently end up losing their limbs because of poor blood supply. And, in fact, every 30 seconds somewhere in the world, uh, a person loses a limb secondary to diabetes, which is largely, as I said, related to reduced blood supply. Uh, regenerative medicine would allow one to regenerate uh, new blood vessels and thus prevent the limb loss, um, salvaging the limb, essentially. And we're currently um, in Galway uh, gearing up to do a clinical trial uh, to determine whether that's possible. So in Galway, uh, we're working on the use of stem cells uh, to regenerate and heal new tissue. Um, stem cells can do so either by differentiating and becoming those tissues or also by virtue of the fact that they secrete many factors which promote healing, repair and regeneration. And we have a specific interest in Galway in one, in one type of stem cell called the mesenchymal stem cell. It's an adult cell derived from bone marrow, which has the capacity to differentiate or to secrete these healing factors. And we've recently obtained a license um, for a, a GMP facility, uh, which stands for Good Manufacturing Practice, and it allows us to grow up these cells uh, for human application. So it's a very specialized facility, the only one of its kind in Ireland, and one of a few in academic centers in throughout the EU. This now uh, places us uh, in a unique position in Ireland to be able to generate this product um, in order to undertake these clinical trials and determine um, whether uh, these therapies are going to be successful or not. And if they are successful, then um, in the context of diabetes and diabetic limb loss, for instance, we could envision a, fu a future where limbs are not lost because we have the capacity to regenerate new blood vessels and just thus resulting in salvage. And I have many clinical colleagues around uh, the hospital in Galway and other hospitals throughout Ireland which are looking at different targets such as lung disease, heart disease, stroke, um, motor neuron disease and we would see that these new therapies uh, will result in um, meeting uh, an unmet medical need uh, for conditions which currently don't have good treatments. Manufacturing stem cells is a, is a very um, meticulous process which requires very stringent and high quality. Uh, the facility itself has to be at a very high engineering spec um, and therefore we were really um, excited in Galway to be able to get the funds to construct this building. Um, uh, but the process of taking a stem cell from the bone marrow in the hospital and then multiplying it up to trillions of cells in an environment which has to be aseptic because ultimately the stem cell product is going to be returned back to um, patients. So a very, very stringent environment required for growth, uh, multiplication and in particular in a completely aseptic environment. It's a very major milestone for us in Galway to have received this license uh, because there has never been a license uh, granted in Ireland for the manufacture of stem cells. The ability uh, to grow stem cells um, in this aseptic, stringent manner in a GMP facility uh, really just allows us to apply them in the context of clinical trials. Uh, now that's going to occur 
um, in another very exciting development in Galway, which is the construction of the clinical and translational research facilities. Because really without those facilities, uh, one would not be able to apply the stem cells uh, to human subjects with disease. Mm -hmm.